This is part two of how to do negative smoke resist that was done in the Americas from 600 BC until the year 1532 AD. All the plaque you see here is smoke penetrated called negative decoration as described by archaeologists. It is a form of smoke penetration with, with carbon smoke. And this part by Gerasimo Sosa, he has blended on gob underneath. Another example of his blended on gob work that he rediscovered in 1977 at Chulucanus, Pura, Peru. The bird at the left is one of his technical achievements beyond his ancestry with smoke sgraffito. If you care to do this, when I show you the how-to process, you might choose to do this. A clearer view of what I am describing. The bird at the right is sort of like batik on textiles. A similar quotation. This detailed work is a Rock and Paddle built part by Gerasimo Sosa Alache of Chulucanus. He applied white on gold and bisfired it. The subsequent firing that you will learn in this video is all the black you see here and we will show you the process. Mr. Sosa in 1977 used a pot with a chimney. I used his model with two tin cans as seen here and you will be able to manufacture this yourself without even using welding. Just by wiring the tin can chimney to the larger tin can which could be a popcorn can for instance. And a rack from any old toaster oven. Mr. Sosa in 1977 used a pot with a chimney. I used his model with two tin cans as seen here and you will be able to manufacture this yourself without even using welding. Just by wiring the tin can chimney to the larger tin can which could be a popcorn can for instance. And a rack from any old toaster oven. Mr. Sosa in 1977 used a pot with a chimney. I used his model with two tin cans as seen here and you will be able to manufacture this yourself without even using welding. Just by wiring the tin can chimney to the larger tin can which could be a popcorn can for instance. And a rack from any old toaster oven. All the black seen here is the same process called negative smoke resist decoration. These are export ceramics from Chulucana since the 1980s. This example was made in Chulucana 600 years before Christ by the Vicus culture. It is red terracotta with negative smoke resist decoration. I will bounce from old to new. This is new revived smoke resist done in Chulucanus for export since the 1980s. This is a bowl. Other ceramists throughout the world are using similar carbon penetration as in this example done by the famous British ceramicist Duncan Ross. Here is a beautiful example of his burnished carbon penetrated pots. Contemporary English similar resist work done by a ceramicist and I have forgotten her name. I apologize. But this is a lovely pot showing what I am about to describe. This pot is to the right around three o'clock is smoke sgraffito and very contemporary indigenous expression by a ceramicist from Chulucanus who has been living and teaching in Japan, Maneno Juarez. So you would consider this contemporary indigenous beyond ancestry work. An ancient South American set of pots with high shoulder and neck done in broadband smoke resist. 
This technique extended from the Mississippi culture of the United States to Central America. The Maya did it in the late. This Uruguayan sculptress visited Gerasimo Sosa in Chulucanas in the 1980s and adopted his method of rock and paddle vessel building as in these parts as well as smoke resist. These are on exhibit in Japan by Maya K-O-F-F-L-E-R who teaches and resides in Sao Paulo, Brazil. This is a how-to video. Here this vessel was painted, the black areas were painted with smoke throughout the Americas from North America, Central America to South America. It is similar to Batik. This one was made in Kimbaya, Colombia, 600 years before Christ. This is a how-to video. Here this vessel was painted, the black areas were painted with smoke throughout the Americas from North America, Central America to South America. It is similar to Batik. This one was made in Kimbaya, Colombia, 600 years before Christ. Later on, they likewise painted with complete smoke penetration with dung, with dung from animals, as in this bowl, which is called blackware. When the Spaniards arrived in 1532, they forbade all decorative ceramics until 1977, as in this bowl, when the technique was restored at Chulacanas, Pura, Peru, by Gerasimo Sosa Alache. So we will see how the process is done in the following scene. 